Hey everybody and welcome back. The um, coronavirus stuff is really slowing down the mailbags, but I have managed to scratch together five packages, so it's time for another mailbag. First one up is this one. I think this one comes from Banggood. They use this little bit thicker plastic and also they have uh, these breathing holes in the packages, so I think this one comes from Banggood. So it uh, January 20th to February 13th, uh, $4.11. And as usual, there'll be a um, affiliate link in the description for this if it is a Banggood package. Okay, let's take a little bit closer look at these. So what these guys are, they should be uh, 10 panel mount fuse holders. So they're uh, for those metal type fuses, the um, the cylindrical ones. So this has a little thread in it. It does not come with a fuse, but it has a little contact down there. And basically, you see these in, in the back of all sorts of different appliances and whatever. I felt like uh, I do have big plans in the near future. I think some of you know already. I'll make a little enclosure for uh, this guy here. And uh, I think I would like to fuse the output and so I bought some of these. These are just probably the easiest things to implement into your solution. Basically you got one in, one out, and you put little fuses inside. I've got a massive box of fuses I have purchased before, so I have the fuses for it. Actually, let's just make sure they fit. If not, I'll have to buy some different fuses. Yeah, I could go with the automotive style blade fuses, but I think these work just fine as well. Oh yeah, that's a wow, that's a heavy spring in there. That's good. So yeah, th these should work just fine. Um, they come; these fuses are cheap as chips. They come in all sorts of sizes and values. Uh, I think this whole box was like a, a dollar or two. So yeah, good way to add a fuse to your project, and especially if you're not quite sure what you're going to be plugging in, it's good to have some circuit protection. So that's pretty neat. Next one up is this one. Uh, this one is a screwdriver and one dollar US, 158 Canadian. So that's that's close to a dollar US. So it's probably more like a dollar 20 US. January 3rd to February 19th. Okay, that's not a screwdriver at all, but it should be fairly close. It's, it's related to screwdrivers. This here is a screwdriver, magnetizer, and demagnetizer. So these things were cheap. It was a uh, $1.60 for two of them. And they're supposed to make your screwdrivers either magnetic or not. So, I mean, we could start with something like, like my knife here. I need something to hook on to. So how about this nut? So right now, this is not magnetized. I think you just sort of rub your metal bit in the inside. See, this one says magnetize, that one says demagnetize. Oh yeah, look at that. I mean, the knife doesn't have a lot of metal in it. So I don't think that the knife will be super magnetic. I should be able to demagnetize it by running it over this way. Yeah, nothing left. Cool, let's try it with the screwdriver. Here's a shitty little Black & Decker, Black & Decker Phillips screwdriver. So magnetize, should be able to go like this. Yeah, it's definitely magnetic. Let's see if we can demagnetize it now. Yeah, so it seems to work just fine. I don't think there's anything too special on the inside there. I figure it's just two magnets of different uh, polarities. We can open it. No, I think it's glued. There we go. Yep, just two little um, 
ceramic type magnets in there oriented in different ways. So that's pretty simple. No wonder they're so cheap, but uh, you know, I didn't have any of these and I've seen them on um, another maker's channel and I figured it's probably time for me to get my own. Next one up is this one. This one's described as a charger. We do like chargers here. $2.63, January 2nd to February 19th. I don't know if that's a charger per se. Let's take a little bit of a closer look. So I think this is a programmer. Not 100% sure, it's been a little while. Does this come undone? Open Smart. Don't really need the Open Smart logo on there. Can I see what's in there? I think this is a CH340 module. Yeah, that's what it is. It's a CH340 module. You see the DTR, RX, TX, 5 volt, and ground. And this one here has a 5 pin so that you can just slap a pin header on it or you can solder these pin headers to your Arduino and program these little guys, these uh, Pro Minis. So uh, ground VCC right here. So that would go like that and you'd be able to program these little things. So yeah, I have one of these, but I only have one. So if it breaks, I am done for. And you know how finicky Chinese electronics can be. So I picked up another one and it was relatively cheap. So I have another one in stock. And plus, I think I like this cable a lot better than my other one. So my other one just has uh, pins, which I had to put extensions on. So I think this here will be my new go-to um, and we'll see how it works. So yeah, not too exciting. We can move on to the next one. Next one up is this one here. Um, this one says quantity one cooling tube. And this was $2.34, January 3rd to February 19th. So it's really, it's like, it's taking a month and a half, but there was a spring festival. Now I don't know what's going on with the coronavirus. So I, I really don't know how long it will take to get stuff. Oh, but this is something pretty neat. This is actually not an electronic component at all. It's a mechanical component. This is a cooling tube. So it's got threads on this side and it's got a little squirting nozzle here on this side. The plastic on this is extremely cheap, but it seems to hold its shape in orientation. And I bought this because I want to make little flexible reading lamps. So I want to you know, have a little LED at the end here. I want a set of wires to go maybe on the inside here and connect to a power source. Um, more about that in the future. But uh, yeah, I got the idea because uh, Adam Savage from Tested and Mythbusters, he used a really big, thick stuff. This is, uh, I think this is quarter inch stuff or three eighths of an inch stuff. He used really big stuff like inch and a half or something to hold studio lights and I want to do the same thing but in a smaller scale and what's nice about these is you can actually pop them apart as far as I know oh not easily but uh, you can pop them apart and join them together and make them even longer and this was uh, two dollars and thirty four cents that's not a bad length really um, how much let's see it is uh, a foot long it's about thirty centimeters so foot long so this is going to be interesting. If this is any good at all, I'll probably order a whole bunch more. And usually when you buy more of these things, um, you get it at a better deal. So yeah, it's got threads that I can 3D print onto a mount. And also, uh, there's actually a repertoire of these shapes. You can 3D print adapters and stuff. So that's something to look at. I also have um, a secondary mount for other cameras, kind of like the same deal. I use this for my smartphone mount. And this is the same deal and it works just the same, just much thicker. You can tell the thickness difference. But I mean, if I can make this, if I can buy these for two bucks and 30 cents, instead of having to spend, I don't know how many hours printing this, I think that might be a really good solution. So look for that in the future. Let's go on to the next one. So the last one up is this one here. 
and none of the addresses are hidden because this here is my PO box so you can send this you can send me um, electronics or you can drop ship stuff from China directly to this if you want and this here is a friend and fellow youtuber gadget reboot that's his uh, PO box so if you want to make me happy you should uh, silently send him some stuff to his PO box some cool stuff and maybe make it put a little note saying that he has to make a video on it or something I mean there's no guarantee he will but it would be hilarious if uh, if my channel started spamming him with 99 cent objects from China but anyways uh, I don't think I would say no to 99 cent things from China I sent him my own custom uh, PCB and so he decided to send me something and I I'm not 100% sure but I think he designed this okay well anti-static bag very nice what's this oh yeah look at that I got swag pretty good thought you might like a challenge here's a triple five timer kit with 0603 resistors yeah my uh, my audience loves seeing me be challenged by stuff uh, LEDs uh, some through hole parts for a break more details about the kit on the github so you guys can check out this github and of course this video can be searched yeah dev board assembly test and closed giveaway gadget reboot look at that so 5 volts to 9 volts, and um, I'm not 100% sure what this kit does, but we're going to put it together, and, uh, you know, I can't wait, so probably very soon, and then um, test it. So that looks pretty neat. So you should check out his YouTube channel, which is uh, Gadget Reboot. I'll put a link in the description, and um, if you want one of these boards, maybe the GitHub has the uh, files on it. Oh, look at that. So there's the board. This looks like a pro board. It doesn't look like my crappy one. Looks very nice. It's got some pin headers. Got some feet. Four feet. These jumpers. Oh yeah, I want to order these jumpers. Ooh. Two triple five timers. Is there a spot for two? No, just one. Okay, he's assuming that I'm going to mess it up. And you guys would probably agree that I might actually mess it up. So yeah, thank you Gadget Reboot, and you guys should honestly go check out his channel. His content is very good. And this really awesome assembly of things that may or may not contain coronavirus make up today's mailbag. I want to do a special thanks to Gadget Reboot for sending me this kit. I will have lots of fun putting it together, and my viewers will have lots of fun making fun of me when I mess it up. I'd also like to really thank my Patreon uh, patrons you guys are the best you guys are the reason why I posted that one um, patreon only video which uh, probably will go live but not right now I want to give you guys a nice head start on that but uh, if you guys are interested in seeing that video which is basically a tour around the production facility here um, join patreon please do so and for the rest of you I thank you so much for watching I would appreciate if you guys can uh, like and comment if you want to see more. If you want to see me do this kit, make sure you put that in the description so I know in what order to film videos. Thanks again for watching.